Hey, how are you doing, Internet World? Those people who are not me members and wanting to get their CDS and CDTs, uh, this very quick video is going to show you how to find the online submission form for your exhibit and where the instructions are. So that's the purpose of this video. And this video is brought to you today by the Trucking Risk and Insurance Podcast. Yes, check it out. The logo is right there. The link is in the show notes below. And I got to thank uh, myself. I'm one of the hosts and John Farquhar uh, for sponsoring this quick video. All right. So once you are on the NatMe page, uh, that is NatMe, N-A-T-M-I dot org is where you're going to find it. As you can see right here, you come here to the very first menu item uh, that says certification. You click on the certification drop down menu and you find online submission. And by the way, while we're here on this drop down menu, also see here, mentor search. Don't forget that everyone needs to accumulate their points uh, for their renewals and being a mentor gets you points. So if you are new here and you want to submit your online exhibit, ask for a mentor. Many people are looking for ways to earn points and so they would be very happy to help you out. So go there and do the mentor search, but here is your online submission and it brings you to this page and as you can see, there are two areas there. You are either a new user or a returning user. Uh, and that's it for that page. So once you've logged in there, you can follow through on the exhibit. However, where do I find all the instructions for what has to be in the exhibit? Well, guess what? It is right here. So if we click on that, there's a few areas of this small little booklet that I do want to point out to you. All right, I do suggest that you go through the whole uh, pamphlet. However, right here, online submission detail, this is the important part. Uh, this is where you're going to find out what each section is uh, to contain. So if you carefully read each one, please do that. Uh, the reference letters are here, the memberships. Now, one of the things that I will point out to you is some items, such as number six, they say optional. So please make sure you read it. If it's optional, you can leave it blank on purpose um, if you don't have something to put there. I would encourage you to complete your exhibit as much as possible. Go through the rest. It is pretty self-explanatory. However, if there were some areas that uh, sometimes cause a rejection of your exhibit, I will point out the two that are the most frequent um, suggestions that I would say pay attention to. Exhibits aren't frequently uh, rejected, but please, sometimes they are, and it is often for one of these two sections. The first section is the management activities. So if you read this carefully and submit your management activities, if you are a CDT person, here you go. Read this section and do it carefully. The other section is the performance data. And again, there are different sections depending on which certification applies to you. So if you are a CDS or a CDM slash E, it's this section. Uh, if you are CDT or CSS, it's down here, you see. So, uh, and if you're one of the insurance people trying to get their designation, it's down here. So please, this is a very well-written pamphlet. It outlines everything that you need to know. And, in, and if you follow it closely, I know that your exhibit will be accepted. So congrats on that. And remember, you can't use your designation until your exhibit has been accepted and until NATME uh, authorizes you to. So that's it for this week. Safety Dog is concluding. And I again, I want to thank uh, the Trucking Risk and Insurance Podcast for sponsoring this quick video. Have a great day.